Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting, and it is pay dirt review time again. And today we're going to be going through an eBay seller by the name of Jay and Jay Gold Prospecting, and this is going to be his two pound bag from the Merced River Canyon, and it is guaranteed a half a gram nugget. It is supposed to be unsearched pay dirt with a half gram nugget bonus. So let's just flip over to the overhead and start going through this pay dirt, classify it down, pan it out, and see what kind of gold we recover. But first, let's flash up the description. As you saw, a pretty detailed description has a lot of information in there. In fact, I had to take out about half of his description and just leave in the stuff that was specifically about the pay dirt itself and not so much about the seller. I wanted to not make this into a reading video. So here's the pay dirt. And one thing that I found really odd about this pay dirt, and what's funny is the person who ordered this for me when it came in even told me they thought that was it was really odd. And as you can see, it says right here, 0.5 nugget. And there you go. They put the nugget outside of the bag. They didn't put it in the pay dirt, which I found a little bit strange. I've never seen anyone do that before. But I guess this way you're guaranteed to know you got it. And this is supposed to just be the unsearched pay dirt, I guess. So let's weigh it up. Two pounds, 0 0.3 ounces. Let's open this up. It is taped pretty heavily, so I'm just going to cut the bag. And let's see what we have here. Now in the description, he does say it's going to be very muddy material, very clay. As you can see, these rocks that look plus 10 are breaking up. Let's just dump it out. I know this is going to be a dusty, cloudy mess. I will rinse this bag once I get my water to make sure I don't miss anything. And let's just check it for magnetics. He does say it has magnetics in there, so got a little bit. It doesn't look like there's really too much. I don't think it'll make it too hard to recover anything. So very not So not much in the way of magnetics. Now let's just listen to some music and classify this down. Okay, all done classifying everything down and the majority of the material is in the minus 40, definitely has the most. Yeah, and then the plus 10, this one, and then this one. So I'll be really curious to find out where the gold is. Based on his description, I kind of assume it's gonna be all in the plus 40, just because he says if you can pan, you're guaranteed to find the gold. So I'll be curious to see if there's any in this because this is a lot of material, probably at least a pound of it. And just so I do find something in the plus 10, I'm going to add that half gram nugget in there. So let's just go get some water and start panning this out. So have my water, have my pan, have a whole bunch of pay dirt here, and let's just start going through it with the plus 10 first. And I'm gonna be really curious to see what this does to the water. I know he does say it's going to be money, but it really wasn't that dusty. So it's mostly gonna be more clay, I think but I'm sure it's gonna foul up the water pretty good, but let's find out and let's pan it out. So let's listen to some music.
Well, panned it all out as you saw, and that was some really, really dirty stuff. Now, I will say it didn't clump up as bad as I thought it would. The plus 10 was pretty easy just to declump with my fingers and then just pan it out. But let's just get to the gold I found in the plus 10. I found two pieces. One of them was outside of the bag, so it was really easy to find, but I did put it in the bag. And then in the minus 10, plus 20, even more gold about 10 little pieces in there so pretty happy i found more gold and then in the minus 20 plus 40 even more gold but not much again about 10 pieces maybe a little bit more some of those are probably minus 40 two of those pieces but when you do get really dirty stuff like that it tends to clump up a little bit the gold does tend to want to be in larger classifications and finally, the minus 40, just one little lone little piece in there. That's all I could get out of all that material. And I did pan it multiple times, sadly, because it was still the only piece I found. So let's just weigh it up. Plus 10, the one little nugget first. 0 0.5. And then the other one, 0 0.605. Minus 10, plus 20, 0 0.15, minus 20, plus 40, 0 0.35, and this one little piece. Huh, didn't budget. Big surprise. So let's weigh it all up and see what we got. Zero point seven nine zero. And I'm going to be right back and we're going to talk about how difficult this pay dirt is. Now for how difficult this pay dirt is, I'm going to give it some pretty high scores just because this stuff is really, really cloudy. It does have gold in pretty much every classification. Even though there was only that one piece in the minus 40, you're still going to pan it all out. And to get that one little piece was really, really hard. It also had a lot of organics and it was just cloudy, cloudy material. Did clump up a bit. So for a beginner, this would definitely be some hard pay dirt. For an advanced painter, I would still call this hard pay dirt to go through because you're just going to be staring, trying to hope the water clears up a little bit so you can find all that gold. Now for an expert, I'm going to rate this about medium. It is pretty close to being really hard for even an expert painter, but it just didn't have enough black sands to make it that tier. So I'm going to flash up the difficulty scale and then we're going to be right back with the ROI and the review. All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review, and let's get right to it. This again was from J&J &J Gold Prospecting, an eBay seller. It was a two pound bag with only the half gram nugget that was guaranteed. There was no guarantee in the pater itself since the nugget did come separately. Its cost was $75. Shipping was $8.85. So total cost right here, $83.85. And let me make a comment about the shipping. I had a buddy of mine order two bags of this pay dirt, one here and another one that I planned on doing for a Thursday night live gold panning session. And he didn't combine shipping. Even though both products shipped in the exact same box, he did not combine shipping. And when asked, he never replied so i'm not too happy about that i don't know what the actual cost for shipping would have been but it definitely wasn't going to be 18 dollars now gold recovered right here 0 0.790 grams gold spot on the day this was received was 57 dollars and 98 cents yeah i got this bag in right before gold went skyrocketing way up past the 60s which means this gold's value is $45.80.
making my ROI a 54.62% or on my scale a 5.5. So not a great ROI. It's about typical of what you'll get off of most eBay sellers. At least it wasn't a really bad bag in the 10, 20, and 30% range. And it is supposed to be unsearched pay dirt with just the one nugget added. Is it unsearched? Probably. Is gold added? Probably. Uh, it's just, I think maybe that one little speck in the minus 40 is probably all that was natural in those two pounds and everything else was added. But that is just my opinion. Now for fun factor, I'm dropping this one down a little bit to a five. It's just so much of the material was in the under 40 for one little speck of gold. It, it just wasn't fun. I, I didn't like the fact that he wouldn't combine shipping. It just wasn't all around very fun. Now for Pater description, this is the shining spot on this seller. He's got a 10 there. He tells you a ton of information. He doesn't have tons of disclaimers. It's a really good description. I really enjoyed reading through it. So he does get a 10 for that. For Pater quantity and packaging, he's getting an eight. 10 for quantity because it was over two pounds and a six for packaging because it's just in a little Ziploc bag. So eight total. Now for customer service and shipping, he's only getting a five. Five for customer service and a five for shipping because of the combined shipping and never replying to the email about the combined shipping. He did reply to an earlier email my buddy sent him, but not about the combined shipping. So total score for J&J &J Gold Prospecting off of eBay is a 6.7. Not a great score. It's about probably a typical score you'll get off of an eBay seller. I don't know if I'd come back for this one. I, I did like the half gram nugget, but other than that, it was just too expensive and just not enough fun. So all that's left is to flash up the score and give away a 24 karat gold plated dime. So let's just flash up the score. Now for today's 24 karat gold plated dime winner, that's going to go to Wesley Madsen. So Wesley Madsen, make sure you email me so I can send this off to you and to everyone else. Thanks for watching. Happy panning and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber.